Hey, all right, I'm here. Make sure you guys can see me um, for American History 2. Again, Mr. Robinson. So today we're starting a new unit. The new unit is the Great Depression. All right. Um, and we're basically going to look at the causes of the Great Depression today. And, and there are a few causes. A lot of times the Great Depression gets blamed. Uh, an unfair amount of it gets blamed on Herbert Hoover, right, who was the president when it started. But it wasn't really all his fault. So um, let's hey, let's go ahead and let's get into it. The uh, the depression begins. That's the name of the first slide. Boom. So after the war, now you got to remember, it's, during times of war. There has to be a ramp up of production. You have to produce more food, more equipment. All these things have to be produced in high volumes for the war effort. Well, after World War I, because it's a world war, the demand for food was not as high. So farmers are losing money because being a farmer is not a, uh, it's, it, it costs a lot of money to be a farmer. You can't just go in and be a farmer and not have any money. You got to buy equipment, you got to buy land, you got to buy labor, seed, all these things. It takes money to be a farmer. So farmers are losing money after the war. Congress tried to help them out, but these, uh, these more conservative presidents of the era, Coolidge, Hoover, Harding, they uh, they vetoed they, they, they veto the price supports that Congress was trying to pass to help out the farmers. All right, so you're having economic troubles here in the farm industry and in agriculture. Consumers are buying things on credit. All right, so what what that does is the consumer is buying stuff on credit. So when you buy something on credit and you go into debt. Well, in order to pay that debt back, a lot of times people will spend less. So if they're spending less, then the, peop the, the businesses aren't making as much money in that sense. An uneven distribution of income, I meaning the rich are getting poor, rich are getting richer, poor are getting poor. So during times of economic trouble, just remember this, rich people may catch a cold, right? But the poor people are going to catch pneumonia. If that makes sense to you, the poor, it's always going to be hit the poor people harder or hit them worse. So pr President Hoover, the 32nd president, uh, 31st president, I'm sorry. So he was not a uh, career politician necessarily. He had been a mining engineer. He never ran for public office. And he uh, wasn't very, he wasn't super adept at using government involvement to cure some of these problems that were going on. Also, the stock market had consistently risen in the 1920s. So what, what was happening was a lot of Americans are seeing the stock markets going up, all right, people are making money. So I'm going to empty out my savings and buy things in the stock market in hopes of getting rich. Remember, the country is doing very well in the 1920s, but there's these underlying problems which are going to lead to, boom, a Great Depression. Speculation, again, so speculation is um, the idea of people speculating on land, they speculate on a lot of things. The idea of buying something or putting all your money in something and hoping that it'll turn around and make a quick profit to speculate, to think, hey, maybe this will happen. You're, you're buying stuff with a premise in the future, and it's going it's to turn out well for you. I remember last year, a lot of people were speculating on the Cleveland Browns making the Super Bowl. Um, I don't know why you do that. Okay, I, don't, I hope none of y'all are Cleveland Browns fans, and I don't want to offend you, but it's probably the worst franchise um, the NFL since I've been alive. But people were speculating. People were putting money down in Las Vegas for them to make the Super Bowl. That is speculation. Chance of making a quick profit, but you're ignoring the risk. Buying on margin. is So this is essentially buying on credit almost. You put a small amount down and you borrow the rest. Now, when I uh, built my first house, okay, I'm still making a mortgage payment on that house. So I put an amount down 
and then um, I had to buy or I, I had to borrow the rest from the bank in order to build my house. So this, this is buying a margin. But this, what's happening during this era is people are overdoing it. In other words, they may put five percent or ten percent down. They borrow the rest, not thinking not accounting that they won't have the money to pay it back. And then they're speculating hopefully in the stock market, hoping to make a quick profit that will help them pay their, uh, their loans back. Well, boom, the stock market crashes. Now the stock market crashing is not a, it's not the singular cause of the great depression, but it is a cause. So it had been going down. Well, all of a sudden, so it's going down all of a sudden, and this is what some people are fearful of, uh, with the election is that when it goes down, people get scared and then they pull all their money out. So boom, all the investors, they start pulling their money out. And this, what this does, it drives all the prices of the stocks down to where they're not worth anything at all anymore. So people who have bought their stocks on credit with the idea of speculating that it's going, the stock price is going to go up, now the stock price is going to go, it's going down, they've lost money. They're stuck with this debt. OK, it's called Black Tuesday It's when shareholders, they frantically tried to sell and get rid. They panic. They tried to sell and get rid of their stocks. But the problem was everyone did it. So all the prices went down. People are attempting to. This is another big problem. People are attempting to draw money, withdraw money from the banks. Well, the money was not insured. OK, now, how would you feel if you say you got paid? Right. So you don't have jobs. You get paid this weekend. You put your money in the bank. All right. You get paid. So you get paid $500. I don't know what you guys get paid. Probably more, maybe less. I don't know. So you get paid $500. And the next week you go and you want to withdraw $500. Okay. And the bank's like, well, it's not here no more. So that's the problem. The bank, the money was not insured by the banks. And the banks, what they have been doing was taking people's money and then investing it in the stock market, doing their own speculation. So they lost everybody's money. I, I would be very irritated if I went to the bank to get some money and they said they didn't have it. Okay. Um, I would be really upset. So that's a problem with the banking industry. Also, Europe is still suffering from the effects of World War I. Now, when uh, other countries are suffering, Amer that, that affects America as well because um, a lot of our goods are sold in those other countries, particularly in Europe. So that's a problem as well. Again, they, they, the, these pro-business uh, presidents, they were passing tariffs. They, they passed the tariff to, uh, in an attempt for, to make domestic goods more valuable, promote domestic businesses. But America passing this tariff, because a tariff is a tax on another country's goods, the other countries said, well, we're going to tax your goods. So now America can't sell its goods as much overseas. So that's hurting. It's, it's limiting the markets in the United States. It's limiting foreign markets for American goods. So more causes, or this is just a slide of the causes. All right, tariffs, war debt, cut down foreign markets for American goods, crisis in the farm sector. The availability of easy credit, all this stuff I've talked about, but the availability of easy credit allowed people to buy things when they didn't have a means to actually pay back the debt that they were buying it on because they were buying it on credit. So, for instance, okay, I'm I'm a high school teacher, okay, I'm not a uh, I'm not a millionaire, contrary to popular belief, I'm not. If I go out here and buy a five million dollar mansion in um, Beverly Hills or, or wherever. Okay, it's worth five million dollars. The first of all, now the bank's not going to give me the loan for that. Okay, but then maybe then they would. Well, there's no way on my salary that I could pay that pay that debt off, all right, to pay that credit back. But during this time, they were giving people the loans to do that. And so what happens is I go I go bankrupt, I lose it, but the bank is also going to go bankrupt. All right. And then an unequal distribution of income, as I mentioned before. So the assignment is on um, is on Canvas here. You can refer to this video. You can refer to the PowerPoint. You can refer. I even um, I even put the textbooks 
textbook section on there for you as well.